right, January 5th, 2018. Got the Duramax in the shop for the first time in a while. Uh, number eight glow plug is needing replacement, so I'm going to go through the steps to replace a glow plug on an LLY code Duramax diesel engine. Really helps if you can get it in the air, it's not necessary, but it really does help. Uh, number eight is on the driver's side on all GM diesels. Um, even banks are on the passenger are on the driver's side, odd banks passenger side, so number eight will be approximately right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this tire off, I'm going to pull the fender liner, and I'll be right back. All right, now once you get the wheel liner off, and you got to be careful with the push rivets, there's actually a tool for it that my good buddy Taylor here has so you don't break the damn thing. Um, but this is the driver's side, and this is this side's harder because you see all this stuff. Let me get a light up here so you can see. There's all this stuff, and you got the CAC tube, steering column, miscellaneous electrical. But there's your glow plug. So right there, um, let's see if I can set the phone down so I can point to it. Ah, well, you get the picture. Right there where that little nut is, right above the exhaust manifold, that's right there. That's the glow plug. That's an 8 mil, and you get that wire out of the way, and then it's a 12 mil deep to get her out. And don't force it, because if these things are in here, and you don't want to, you definitely do not want to break that thing off in the head, because if you do, um, <laughs> bad things, the head's got to come off. So we'll get that out, and I'll be right back. All right, so now that Taylor and I got it out, this is your, this is your glow plug here. Have a good night, Robert. The reason that you got to be careful doing this is that the tip of these is ceramic and if you break the tip of that off inside the head sorry about that like as I was saying the uh, the tip right here this is ceramic and if that breaks off as you're impacting on this thing if that falls down into the cylinder it's gonna be a bad day you better pray that you can reach in there with something and pull it through otherwise you got to pull the head off the engine um, and that's not a fun job um, so to replace it, like I said, on the end here, this is this is 8 mil. You use a 12 mil uh, deep to get this guy out. We'll throw a little bit of anti-seize on the new one and thread it back into its home and get this all buttoned up. Yeah, I'll probably clean it up real quick. So as we're looking around, I always like to do you know a little preventative maintenance inspections. I was looking up here at the bottom of the master cylinder, and she appears to be a little damp. See that right there? There's no drops forming, but maybe it has been like 18 below zero here. So, and this is the original. It's been in the truck for 12 years. So, I'm not having any issues with the brakes. So, I'll just check the fluid when I drop her down. Yeah, well, I'll probably hit it with some brake cleaner, clean it real quick with some rags, and go from there. Also, taking an opportunity to look at my my hard brake lines here. That's the outer edge of them looking a little on the crusty side so <sighs> they're getting old man I mean the truck I've had this truck since it was new but you know it's a 2005 so um, that'd make it what 13 years old so 13 years of salty winters I'm doing a pretty good job keeping track of keeping ahead of the corrosion but it's one of those things all right let me get this put back together and that's that. Get the tire back on. Fender liner back in. Um, then you got to climb up on top here because there's two wiring harnesses you got to push through from the motor side. And she's done. And here's the here's the old one. All in all, what would you say about a 20 minute job to change right. one out? Now, if you have to get the six or four out, you got to take off the charge air cooler, which can be a little bit more of a pain in the ass, but. Otherwise, that's that. So, yeah. I'll keep an eye on that master cylinder and update. Um, otherwise, yeah. Old Blue's back on the road. So, questions, give me uh, throw a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.